Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Sutton's Days. Today we are bringing you a really fun recipe. This is going to be a lunch or a dinner for Phil and I, uh, but you could easily make it an appetizer also if you have parties or an event or just a couple people over, you know, to play cards. This is a really great appetizer that I know everyone is just going to love. It has a few of my favorite things. Mushrooms, Fiesta Ranch Mix, and chicken. <laughs> okay, we're going to do Fiesta Ranch Chicken Stuffed Mushrooms. We're going to start with these Baby Bella mushrooms. Remember I picked them up at Walmart the other day? Um, I don't remember the price offhand, but they weren't, they weren't too bad. So we're going to get started on these. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is get the mushrooms out. We are going to take the stems out of the mushrooms. These typically pop right out like that. And then if you want to... A small, like a melon baller, which for some unreason I don't seem to have, or just a nice small spoon, you can just create a little larger hole than what is actually there. Okay? But don't get rid of all of this. You need all of this. So once you have a nice little mushroom with a, a hole like that, put them aside because we're going to give them a good rinse. Because mushrooms come out of the dirt, right? You can rinse before or after. Whoop. That's up to you. I'll rinse them after. And because we got all this other stuff to take care of first. Okay, so when I get these all uh, cleaned out, then I'll come back and show you how we're going to stuff them. Okay, we have the cream cheese and the mushroom pieces that are in the, the mixer bowl. I'm going to put in about quarter cup of diced onions. I'm using my Thrive Life. Uh, if you are using a fresh whole onion, then uh, I would use a medium and dice it up really good. Next, I'm going to add a pint of canned chicken. I'm going to drain off that liquid and I'm going to add the chicken directly in there. Okay, next is the Fiesta Ranch Dips Mix. Okay, you know this is a favorite of mine. I love it. So we're not going to add the whole packet though. We don't want that much in there. I'm going to add one tablespoon of the mixture right into the bowl. Okay, we'll just fold that up and use it on something else. Okay, next we're going to add about two tablespoons of butter. Put it right in there. Okay. And pepper to taste. With the Fiesta Ranch Mix, I wouldn't add any more salt, but that's totally up to you. We're just going to give it a sprinkle of pepper. Okay. Now we're going to go over and we're going to give it a really good mix. Okay. Now we'll bring that up and you see it's all nicely incorporated it'll be really easy to stuff those mushrooms very easy now I will I will admit that it is probably a hundred times easier to do this with a melon baller <laughs> but you do what you can this comes out so thick that you're able to to actually form it so I scoop out a little bit with uh, a spoon and then I stuff the mushroom. Now mushrooms are not uniform, they're all different sizes, so you might have to make some adjustments here and there, but we're going to go through and get these all stuffed. And see, I've even got some teeny tiny ones here, just for fun. And I didn't go crazy, you know, pulling out the, the inners. It'd be easier, like I said, with a, with a melon baller. But I'm also afraid of breaking the mushrooms. So that's just me. You guys do whatever you're the most comfortable with. The more that you can stuff in there, obviously good. But it's still good even if you're just doing a little bit. Okay, let me get these all stuffed. And we'll Okay, these went 10 minutes. And you can see what they're talking about with the liquid. You know, they start to 
mushroom sweat, I guess, is the easiest way to put it. And so you don't want them to sweat a whole bunch. This one tipped over. Whoop, get back on there. But the top of these, whoo, that's hot. Okay, the top of these got like a, a nice little crust to them. You can see the steam coming off of them. And, oh, okay. Are we ready? Should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? I think so. We're ready. We're ready. Okay, these are hot. Anybody with any sense would wait for a minute. Okay, hot, 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 hot. Mm. Mm-hmm. These are good. Oh, and they've got that nice little nice little kick to them from the Fiesta Ranch. Mmm. These are good. Perfect little keto dinner with a big salad or an appetizer. These are so good. So excited about these. Phil loved them. I love them. The best part is they microwave up really, really well. So we had probably three servings. Um, I actually didn't count. I'd have to go back and look at a picture to be sure, but I have 12 here. We probably taste tested seven or eight of them between the two of us. <laughs> okay. Um, but that'll be dinner. That's dinner with a nice big salad. Mm, really, really good. Um, I don't have the nutritional value uh, at this time because I'm having some difficulty figuring out the baby Bella um, and how much is left because there's probably about just over a cup of the mixture left, but it's all low carb. It's all, it's all keto friendly. I mean, there's four ounces of cream cheese, uh, bits and pieces of the mushrooms. The onion's probably one of the higher carb parts. Okay. Um, then there's the mushroom and the chicken. The Fiesta Ranch mix, one tablespoon of that. You might actually want to add just a tiny bit more if you really like it. Um, for me, um, I really, I think this could use just a tad bit more salt, um, but that's me. Phil says, no, it's spot on. So, you know, if you're not sensitive to salt, uh, you might want to add a little bit. If you are sensitive to salt, you don't, okay? Um, these are a keeper. I will be making these again and again and again. Remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And until next time, mushrooms.